Let me make things absolutely clear. Anyone with a decent rig should have absolutely no problem with Vegas Pro 18. If you had Vegas Pro before August 3, 2020, you most likely heard some advice like disabling SO4 compound reader. What we do is double click it and then put caps lock on and then type false. People new to the software usually struggle to understand the importance of disabling properties like resampling methods. Not everyone in the world shoots with interlaced footage to need this. But the biggest problem that all softwares have in common are a customer base that may not understand the more nuanced requirements of a fit workstation, like the effect an unattended BIOS setting has over your CPU, for example. I, for instance, didn't realize my CPU had quick sync video capability until I started wondering why my inferior laptop has no problem utilizing it. Then there's drivers, and I can't stress this enough, if you haven't cross-checked your drivers with the latest versions out there, chances are you will encounter some problems down the road. Thankfully. The new Vegas Pro has something to help with that. Now it's worth mentioning that some of the most expensive hardware detectors out there do exhibit some instances of failing, but that has become less of a chance over the years. And while I'm still not recommending a buy just yet, I will say this. Vegas is fast, incredibly fast. It's the fastest it has ever been and the sturdiest it has ever been. I've loaded some of the most hardware tasking projects I dealt with in the past and even came up with ridiculous asinine methods to try and overload the software into submission. And at the most, the software stutters and fights to stay stable. You do not get a whitewashed screen. The only successful crash I was able to make was this Huawei Nova 5 selfie camera footage and this was only done when I hit the event pan crop feature. Four days of creative abuse. One crash. 